In this video, we'll control sounds using accelerometer. Whenever you're watching a YouTube video on your iPhone, you can turn it sideways and the video will become a widescreen. So how does it know that we moved it? Well, there's a sensor inside of smartphones called an accelerometer, which can detect orientation changes. The Compass application demonstrates it in more details. We can actually purchase accelerometer at a very affordable price. And in this video, we're going to use it to make some noise and music. If you would like to follow along, I suggest that you watch this video first and learn how to send sensor data from Arduino to MaxMSP or Pure Data. As for the accelerometer type, we're going to be using the MPU6050. Let's insert it to a breadboard directly. And we're going to be using Arduino Nano for this tutorial. So everything fits nicely into one breadboard. And yeah, that's it. So let's move on to the software. First, we need to install this. And we'll use this example code. Let's test it out. So when we tilt it in this direction, the X value changes. And this direction is the Y. Let's send these sensor data values to pure data or max so that we can control sounds. So we need to have the serial print and serial print LN lines like this. And every other serial prints need to be commented out or simply deleted. I'm going to be using max for this video because of the better GUI. And you can of course recreate it using pure data. Let's use accelerometer to control an FM synth. For example, we can map the X value to the pitch and the Y value to the modulation depth. Before we do something more musical, there's something that we should address first. So after a while, lifting this up in order to play it will get exhausting. But if we put it on a table, we can't really play with it in a natural way. The solution is to get an object that is half a sphere and put the breadboard on top. Alright, let's test it out. Yeah, this worked way better than expected. It feels natural, smooth, and really fun to control. The only issue is when I let go, the weight of the electronics will unbalance the sphere because the inside is hollow. Easy solution that I should have done is put something dense and small inside of it. Okay, let's do something more musical with this thing. We have a generative sequencer running here, and we can control the filter and reverb amount. And of course, we can go chaotic with it too. So this won't be the last time I'll be making a video with the accelerometer. We only scratched the surface of this powerful sensor. I'm planning on adding a wireless communication module to this and also have it battery powered. So if that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe and I'm planning on posting it by the end of this month or maybe early next month. Okay, I'll see you next week with a Pure Data sound design tutorial. Stay safe and have fun making music.